This is Twit. A whole lot of you in the audience emailed us about this, actually. Um, the fact that Samsung's uh, default messaging app uh, on the Galaxy S9s uh, recently had a bug that would randomly send photos and entire galleries of photos uh, to random people from your contacts. Uh, Oops. So, cool. so yeah. So, um, like I mentioned, a bunch of you emailed us about it uh, uh, with your experiences of it. Gizmodo actually wrote about it. You can see it there on the screen. And Gizmodo reached out to Samsung, and Samsung responded, acknowledging the issue. They said, "We are aware, aware of the reports regarding this matter, and our technical teams are looking into it. Concerned customers are encouraged to contact us directly at one eight hundred Samsung." Um, they also reached out to T-Mobile, and T-Mobile just said, "It's a Samsung problem. It's not our problem." Yeah. Um, and the and the current prevailing theory is that it's a bug with Samsung's implementation within their messaging app with the newly rolled out RCS profile updates that rolled out uh, at T-Mobile and some of the other carriers. And we've discussed RCS a lot in the past that th that is hopefully the future of messaging to replace the long outdated and uh, woefully uh, woefully good uh, SMS protocol, which I, I think is long time to be retired. Um, but yeah, this is not a good look to just randomly send photos because the wrong photo to the wrong person could be a problem. I mean, we already have all like sorts of security concerns and um, like Patrick had mentioned earlier, we've got already all sorts of annoyances with security updates and things of the sort. Just having random photos though sent out to like people on your contacts list is not Ooh. really bad news. That's just not well, good news, especially for the Galaxy S9. I mean, and especially the same week that you're getting a bunch of rumors about the Note 9 or whatever's coming out next. <laughs> Well, here's the thing I'm worried about is I don't want this to blow back on RCS. Oh, yeah, that's also want, true. I don't, yeah, I don't want people to hear that this happened and then blame the protocol for it. And then we finally have a superior protocol over SMS and people aren't going to want to use it because it might send my photos when it was Samsung's mistake. It's true. Oh. Can't let we can't have one bad apple ruin it for all for all of us. No. Um, Patrick, anyway. do you do you have any preference <laughs> on RCS? <laughs> SMS. I mean, this is a thing that we talk a lot about in the Android world because our messaging life is so fragmented. Bur yeah, woe some <laughs> yeah. burdensome. I, you know, I, I'll be honest with you. I've been moving my entire messaging, minus some outliers, some friends and family that will, you know, like I'm never going to get my mom on Signal. Um, oh. But uh, I've I've moved almost my entire life to Signal in terms of, of messaging and I just stopped thinking about it when I started using Signal because it was like end-to-end -end encryption. You know, my really paranoid friends that, that work uh, in pen testing have uh, have everything set up. One friend of mine actually uh, had everything set up for the messages to disappear every 24 hours until he realized that sometimes he actually could not check his phone every 24 hours. Um, it was missing. Uh, there was, I think, a spousal related uh, message that was missed based on his incredibly high settings of security on Signal. Um, but I'll be honest with you. Um, you know, I, when I when I think about SMS at all at this point, it's almost entirely whether or not I want to use it uh, for 2FA or if I have any alternatives to it for two factor authentication for various websites and services. Uh, and everything else are just run through Signal. And I probably should start thinking about RCS, but um, entire s sections of my brain uh, in messaging just kind of shut down when I decided to shove everybody I could on the signal. Um. <laughs> probably, the, probably the smart move. I mean, it's funny you mentioned that because I, I actually noted yesterday, in fact, that I was looking uh, – because my uh, – you know. Uh, spoiler, when we get to the arena, I have a messaging app. Um, as I was playing with it, I noticed that – the majority of my messages in SMS are two-factor authentication now, and I've moved a lot of it not to Signal but to WhatsApp, which I now say what you will, Facebook owned, yada, yada. It's just right now that's working for me with family and mm -hmm. friends and things like that. Um, but, yeah, SMS is almost just becoming a, a 2FA delivery mechanism, so, so to speak. Yeah. Um, and not yeah. a particularly secure one if you, if you spend a lot no. of quality time uh, with – I will affectionately say hardcore technical individuals, hardcore security professionals. But yeah, I mean, it's also one of the things where, where you know, this, this is going to be one of those specs where, you know, companies like Apple say, well, eventually consider RCS when there are no other viable alternatives in the market and they are forced <laughs> to consider using a non Apple spec. Um, I'm just going to slag on Apple today because, A, I'm on Android. 
Uh, I'm on all about Android <laughs> B because I'm a you know I've been an iPhone user and I'm I'm psyching myself up for walking away from several hundred dollars worth of apps. Uh, well, and you're <laughs> also I, you're I also migrate. walking away from a uh, a unified messaging trajectory. I mean, iMessage is like yeah. everything and everything I want from messaging app on no. Android that oh. I do not have iMessage isn't no, even all that cracked up, all that great, to be honest with you. I know. I just want to send text messages from the plane via Wi-Fi without using Allo. Yeah. yeah. Or, you well, know, to have a it, signal. You can, you can use signal on all the, yeah, signal. Yeah. Yeah. Signal will change easy. your life. I mean, the, the, the whole question, the whole question is, is that it's, it, I mean, we talked about this ad nauseum, but it's the, a data-based messaging platform versus an over the air protocol you know and and sms works on all the platforms because it existed before smartphones existed and now that okay. we're in a post smartphone world apple you know carriers google whomever they're not going to agree on a protocol like sms and again you know i hope it's rcs but we're already seeing different flavors of rcf diff just some different yeah. profiles for carriers and all that sort of stuff it's just like we can't it's like this is these are the time like I don't want to get too close to socialism <laughs> or anything like that. But these are the signs where like, can we, can we just sacrifice yeah. capitalism for the greater good? 